words to say. All right. So. Hi, everybody. We're going to be glad we're in the reception part of the day. And um, as the newest professor of comparative media studies, I'm kind of being hazed right now. <laughs> and um, being told that I'm going to be, you know, welcoming you. I'm glad my colleagues are here with me. Um, Heather Hendershot, William Arricchio. Um, Heather directed our graduate program for six years. William has run and, with Henry Jenkins, built up the Comparative Media Studies program for 20 years. Um, so our reception tonight is to both honor and thank all of the conference attendees, as well as the founders of the CMS program here at MIT, Henry Jenkins and William Arricchio, and other faculty and students involved in this conference, such as Ian Condry, Jim, Jing Wang, Jim Parody, Ethan Zuckerman, and others. We also have 30 plus alums <laughs> from the CMS graduate program who are participating in the conference this year and who have over the years helped to build this conference up as well as our department. Um, so we really want to thank and recognize all of you. Can you guys raise your hands if you're in a long? Okay. Another person who was crucial in building up CMS and this conference was David Thorburn, who, um, with Henry in the early days, I gave an, a, a speech about this last night too, so I didn't want to duplicate everything, but really important in um, building up the Media and Transition Conference and editing the first two volumes from MIT Press, which came out in 2003. Um, so I just wanted to like mention a few things about the amazing alums, and I'm not going to do justice to all of them because the list is exhaustive. It's very long and impressive. Um, Philip Tan, are you here somewhere? Maybe? He's been working with us all day. He's, he graduated in 2003 and is the creative director of the MIT Game Lab and teaches game design and creative and creating video games here at MIT. Sam Ford, <laughs> Director of Cultural Intelligence. What a great job name. Uh, for Simon & Schuster, a CBS company, and is also co-leading various initiatives in the future of work uh, in Kentucky, which I think is fantastic. Um, Huma Yusuf, you heard her on our plenary today. Uh, graduated in 2008 has worked with the Wilson Center as a Pakistan scholar, weekly columnist for Dawn. Um, I, there are probably many updates that she has about her professional career, including being recently named one of foreign policy's top 100 women on Twitter. <laughs> Elise Graham is assistant professor of digital humanities at Stony Brook University. She just published last year a book entitled The Republic of Games, Textual Culture Between Old Books and New Media. These are people I haven't even met yet, and I hope to meet you guys. I'm the new person here. Um, I, I hope you guys can fill in, in the blank. 2003, Cherise Lepre is now a professor at Syracuse's Newhouse School of Public Communications and does crucial work on media and identity construction. Also raised a vital question on the session we were just on about racial politics in regard to digital media and democracy, which we all need to continue to work on and think about. Uh, Lilia Kilburn, uh, is now a PhD student in anthropology at Harvard and does great work on vocality and sound technologies, media and communication disorders, uh, kinship and intimacy, and is also doing work in Cameroon. Josh Cowles, two, 2017 graduate, is now a data ethics researcher at the Alan Turing Institute in the British Library in London and is also a PhD student at the Oxford Internet Institute. 
I know there are a lot of people that I have not mentioned. I'm going to mention one more, and I'm sorry if I have, there's so many. I, I said mentioning some means I'm excluding others, but we can't go on all night. The last, Mario Garcia Montez, who graduated last year. She's a public interest technology capacity builder and researcher from Mexico. She was so active at MIT and in CMS while she was here, and her main topics of interest are privacy and information security, social exclusions in technology and participatory processes. She's starting the PhD program here at MIT in the fall. Um, before I hand it off to either of these people if they want to say anything, I want to thank our current CMS graduate student volunteers who I have gotten to know well over the past <laughs> two to three years and honored to work with. Um, Rachel Thompson, Annie Wang, Libby Falk, Matt Graydon, Sam Mendes, Iago Boychuk, Josefina Bushman, James Wilson, Anna Chang, Reka Malhotra, and Sultan Shari. All of these students have been actively involved in this conference and organizing it. <laughs> They have greeted and registered you, presented you with a, a pre-conference and media-based demos and will change your life tomorrow night with their DJing. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew Whitaker, our communications director, thank you for being here. There's a lot more people to thank, including our department head at Chiapa and our uh, staff. Jessica Tatlock and Sarah Smith, many other people. That's all I'm going to say, but we're so happy you guys are here. We haven't had the conference for a while. We, it used to be 50 to 100 people. This year we got over 300 uh, responses to the call for papers, and we're doing our best to accommodate the swell of interest in this, these issues these days. So um, thank you so much, and we're really honored you're here with us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you all for coming. We're looking forward to a rich, full day tomorrow and seeing you at the end of the day at our big dance party. Woo!